The information in this episode is current as of the date recorded and is not intended as financial, tax, or legal advice. You should consult your tax, financial, and or legal advisors before implementing any transactions and or strategies concerning your finances. And with that, let's get to this week's episode. Hi, I'm Jason Nickerson, President and COO, and this is Financial Focus. In this week's episode, we are appreciating the arrival of summer and therefore our summer vacations. With much anticipation, we set out on the roads and in the skies to enjoy some downtime with nice weather, hopefully. And with that comes the question that we usually get of, should I buy the travel insurance? Well, if you've already booked your trip, did you buy the travel insurance? Let's talk a little bit about what travel insurance is. It's really a type of insurance that can help you cover unexpected events and expenses that can arise out of your vacation. Things like medical expenses, if you have to cancel the trip for some reason, lost luggage, and other situations. But like all insurance, you're betting that you're going to have these events come up and therefore paying the premium where the insurance company is betting that you won't need to Uh, the insurance, you won't have these events come up and accepting your premium gladly. But let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons. First of all, the pros of travel insurance, really top uh, top of the list is peace of mind. When we buy a policy, if if you're someone who buys the travel insurance, you really know you're going into your trip covered for certain unexpected events. There is the financial protection around it that if one of these events arise, medical emergency, a trip gets canceled either by you or because of weather or something, uh, that you have this coverage uh, in your back pocket, and then you're getting reimbursed for expenses. And I will tell you, even from a personal level, that you only need to have something happen once, really to kind of, uh, you know, have travel insurance pay off. Uh, And when you don't have it, that one time you don't have it, it can really be a headache. But there are downsides to travel insurance, right? It can be expensive. And it's important that if you have the opportunity to compare policies, you do so. There are exclusions. Not all travel insurance policies are created the same. So make sure you're reviewing all of the underlying coverages and they are potentially going to cover the things that you are most concerned about or things that are most likely to happen. And then you should also understand, if you can, in advance what the claims process is. This can be a downside because it can be incredibly arduous, it can be laden with paperwork, and it can take a long time uh, for your claim to go through. So the conclusion is that those of you who have had a situation where you had unexpected events and didn't have insurance, you're probably the type now where it's an automatic purchase. Although if you haven't had something come up and you haven't been paying the travel insurance, you've certainly saved a lot of money. If you're just going a few hours away and staying in a hotel for one night, you probably don't need the travel insurance for that. But also consider much longer trips, much further trips away. It might be a a peace of mind purchase that will help you enjoy your vacation much more and avoid the worry and concern. And with that, that's this week's episode of Financial Focus. We'll see you next week.